Hey, 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 what's going on, y'all? Sam the Slam here. Welcome back to a brand new Slammed movie review from yours truly. And, um, I just got done watching one, one hell of a fucking horror film. Man, this horror film. Woo. Gabio 1982's Tenebrae. Or Tenebrae. Or Tenebrae. Tenebrae or Tenebrae. We're going we're gonna to do the English version. Tenebrae, whatever. 1982's Italian Gaudio film written and directed by Dario Argento. Got Wikipedia up to help me out here. Some of the names and stuff. This film is probably the best. And I've seen four films. I see the, fir the first film I watched was Suspiria. Second film I watched was Mother of Tears, which is Mother of Tears is probably the least favorite. I mean, is the least, uh, like his least film, or like his film I don't really give a shit about. Inferno is number three, which was okay, it was all right, but not it. I, I, you know, I tolerated it, but it was okay. I liked it still, but it's there. It's before that, and then you have this film, and I tell you what, this film was pretty damn good, and it got you. I mean, you're like confused, and you're like, okay, and then at the end, like. Wow, okay, wow. That was one of those films, and it's just... It just got you. It just gets you there. It just gets you there. And, uh... Just to talk about before I spoil it and everything, though. Uh, the plot is... Uh, hold on, before that... Well, let's just go over the plot. The plot is a, um... It's like a murder-slash-mystery kind of thing. Or Well, it stars Anthony... I can't say his name. The main the main lead is Anthony Frasosa. Or I can't say his name. Fran Frasosa. I don't know. He is Peter Neal, the author. He's just did this book, uh, Tenebrae, and he's going to Rome, and um, he goes he goes to Rome to promote his book, and then meanwhile there's a bunch of killings inspired by his book. And also, people devoted to him, or he's been around, they get murdered and slashed. And the blood and the kills is amazing. But one thing that I would say that makes this film the best is the score. The score... <laughs> I don't know. I can't say it. Goblin. Goblin, the band, the progressive rock, blew me away with this. This score just. I mean, I knew the intro. You know, I knew that the intro. I mean, I knew that, that that's the big. That's the main theme. But just the certain they used to, they did this. Um, it's Gemini or something. The song or the the tracks Gemini something, but. It's a it's a long track, but when it goes to the, I'm I'm not gonna play it for copyright or whatever, but every time that when they were trying to chase him, chase the bad guy, the murderer away, and it play and it just said that it's just this cool disco esque progressive rock style, and it just made me feel wow, this is pretty fucking awesome. I don't, I would, I would, I would rewind, I would rewind it back and forth just to listen to that, and then I was, throughout the film, because it's a, how long is this film? This film is a, well, shit. Oh, there's my remote. But, uh, this film is a, uh, da -da -da -da. Do -do. Is it? 101 minutes. So it's 101 minutes, an hour and 41 minutes, I think. <laughs> and throughout the film, I actually went on YouTube and found the soundtrack and just listened to that little, uh, that that music. That it's just it just blows me away. I, I love Goblin, but uh, but yeah, these kills and the blood and the, uh, just the kills here. I remember I remember watching Suspiria with their with their kills and everything, but with the plot from Suspiria to this. This seemed more, just, this is probably, of all the Dario Gento films I've watched, my favorite one right now, so far. And I think now I've been, um, I've been entertained and intrigued because I told myself, well, I want to do a horror, a horror movie marathon. And 
I'm really intrigued with the Italian or Giallo uh, films lately. Um, I think, I mean, I, I, or bis basically Italian movie directors. You know, like I've seen Demons, Demonati, or Demons 1 and 2, which I think is collaborated by Labiato Vava. It's Mario Baba's nephew, I think. Or, I don't know, I may be wrong. Don't quote me here. I don't know. I may be wrong. I'm not really good at the top of my head. I need to write notes down. I don't have no notebook right now, but I could just do it on my laptop. But but I think I'm intrigued to, to, to watch more Dario Gento films. And... Um, Lucio Fulci films, like I did with the House of Clocks, which I didn't really, I'm really a fan of that, but it's just different, and it's great, and I love it. The beauty and the kills in this one, I mean, the last kill, I mean, the second to last kill with the fucking psh, arm up with the blood spraying over the, the blood spraying all over the, the, the walls. Uh, just, here I am, like, ah, like, ah, but here's, no, that's people, like, they screaming, here I am, just like, wow. <laughs> but I thought I thought that I mean the lead what whatever the Anthony Francesco did a real good job. You have the his agent who's played by uh Bul who's Bulmer who's played by John Saxon the legendary John Saxon. Um. Damn, you got a lot. And then you have what's her face. Um, Dario Nicolodi Nicolodi. Which is Aja Gento's and Dario Gento's, well, that's his ex-wife. That's Aja Gento's mother. This is, I think, the first film I saw her in, and she usually gets killed in these in, in his films. I think I think she's in Deep Red, which I want to see Deep Red, by the way. Um, but she plays uh, Annie, his agent, the uh, Peter Neal, who's played by the lead uh, Anthony Frizzosa. He she plays his agent. You see, um, Detective Jamati. Gama, because there's cops involved. He's, he's played by him. He did a real good job. I liked him. You also have Gianni, who's like the assistant of the agent's assistant. Played by Christian Baromio. I don't know. And then you have uh, Jane. What well, are certain people that... Who else was that? Jane Macara, which is uh, Peter Neal's ex ex-wife or whatever. She's played by Laura Lindell. Lindell. And there's also the, the there's also the gel bait chick. There's also some writers. There's also which I'll go here in a little bit though. But I thought you know the lead was good. He did a fabulous job. And then you're like wow at the and you're watching to the end. And you're like damn, <laughs> like wow this is some psychotic shit, insane shit. And it just blew me away. Like just throughout the film, you know, it, it, it's watching thirty minutes in. It's like wow. I was like, damn. It was going slow, too, and I was enjoying it. I was like, wow, this is pretty... I'm interested in this film. Let's keep it on going. The kills and everything. Hi, spy. Hi, the spy. Hi, the... That's how the killer sounded like. But, yeah. Altogether, this film... I got badass hair day. I definitely recommend this film. This film is definitely watchable. If my girlfriend wanted to watch this or anything else, or if I could watch this again, I would. Because of the score. That score still got my damn head. But yeah, so let's just talk about the spoilers now, you know. The end. It just, the end didn't get me it get me there. Because then again, like the thing about this film that I like that I just love the score and the music and stuff, and then these kills. Like when the beginning, like it, it has a person with the leather gloves, the, the person with the leather gloves. And it's reading the book, reading his book, Tenebrae, and then it goes into fire, and then that's how the film starts with the main theme from Goblin. And, and the, 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 Peter Neal comes to, comes to Rome, and then all these fucking killings start. This shoplifter gets killed first, yada yada. And then the cops come to, uh, to see if Peter Neal knows anything about it. I just got here, all this other stuff, da 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 da. And then certain people die, like they get killed, like uh, certain people around and fall around his life, like the two, like first of all, Shockler gets killed. Now oh, she steals the book. She steals. So the killer, like, oh, so you're a fan, so I'm gonna. Kill. She steals this book, gets caught by the cops, and then wants the cop to, hey, I'll suck your dick or something. Come or, or here, here's my apartment. Come over so I can suck your dick or fuck you. 
and he lets her go, gets her number stuff, and she gets slashed, gets killed. Um, and then you have another, who, who didn't get more kills come around, and um, one of the, is a lesbian journalist who's a bitch, and I tell you what, it's some, you're a person, and that's the thing too about this film too, is it misogynist or whatever the fuck, women get a lot of killed, but then guys get killed here too. I mean, the women get killed. Oh, my God, no brawls. And you get to see the nipples and the titties. Yada, yada. And um, the, the cover of this film, uh, the cover of the film, Tenebrae, they, is the lesbian killed, the second lesbian, the, the lesbian lover, the bisexual lover. That's That was pretty badass because of her neck and the blood and everything. And I thought, okay, that's pretty fucking rad. And... You don't realize, and then you find out about this fucking guy who was, um, Christia, Cristiano Berti, who's play, who, who John Steiner plays him. He, he, he's this weird, weird fucker, this weird, like, TV interviewer and shit, and you find out that he is the one that did this bloody-ass murder supreme, supreme, supreme this murder and shit. And even before that, they have all these bits and pieces. Like, you know, John Saxon's his agent, yada, yada. And then they have this, um, his landlord, the landlord uh, daughter, who's played by this very beautiful girl. She's probably like 18, but she's jailbait on here. But yeah, I'd say, right, or, or this kill, or just, they, my God, the, uh, Dara Gento, you sure love your fucking... And the Italian, they sure love their dogs attacking people. <laughs> they sure love having dogs kill and or hurt and attack people. So Spear did with the blind guy. Um, and now this one, the Joe Bait chick or whatever we'll call her, she like it, she was with her boyfriend or whatever. And then they get in a fight. It's like a random scene, and she gets in a fight with her boyfriend or whatever because she probably didn't. She did. She he probably wanted to fuck her, and she didn't want it to happen. And Fuck you and this stuff, and then she's in this dark thing, and then she gets to come across this damn Doberman, little dog, this evil dog, and then, she, and then, like, arr, 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 just walk away, go. No, you know what this bitch does? She's antagonizing it, and then you're like, oh, I mean, you know what? If you get killed, I ain't gonna feel sorry for you. Chases after her, mauls her, bites her a little bit, and then she gets into the killer's lair, and then she gets inside and like, well, no, she's gonna kill. She don't know she's in the killer's lair until she sees all these fucking pictures. Of all the people that that has been killed, and then she gets fucking axed to death in the stomach, pretty bad and graphic, and bloody. But then you have uh, what's his face? So uh, um, Gianni goes with uh, Peter Neal, and they go to the. This is the thing. This is the part where it's like, okay, this doesn't seem right. If you go to the killer, the killer's lair. And, and like, how did he get? I mean, it was, well, it was, how, I still don't. I still, and I'm lost. Whatever, thumbs it down. It's just they went to the the lair's place, and he go, he actually sees the killer. Uh, Gian, well, you know, Johnny actually sees Bertie, and he's the he was like the reviewer. He gets axed to the de the head, and he doesn't see the killer though, but he remembers and shit. He has all these PTSD memories and stuff. And he just kills him. Or no, he watches it, and then he, he remembers that Berkeley said, I killed them all, I killed them all, you know. Da, da, da. And, but before that, because that's already in the film, he comes back to Peter Neal, which Peter Neal is knocked to the ground with a rock by there. And I'm like, okay, they didn't show that. And I'm like, and I'm like, my thinking, I'm like, I wonder if he's the killer. You know, he's playing it off and everything, and he's playing it real good. Why you got to stare at me? Eh. Oh, my damn cat over here staring at me like damn horror movie. What? Eh. Eh. Oh. Just staring at me. But, and then all, the thing is too, is this, you're like, well, who's the killer? You don't know, but you're like, what the hell? I'm, I'm just lost and yada yada. Then you find out his agent and his ex-wife, because his ex-wife followed him, Jane, and he sees her in some of these certain spots. She has a fucking affair with uh, Wilmer. Or whatever. Or Gilmer, or uh, Bulmer. 
He gets killed in bright, broad daylight. Now, I think he got killed by either Bertie or, um, let me see here. Where in the fuck? Where in the hell is it at? It doesn't even show it on here. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Huh. Now, I think he got killed by... I don't, see, that's the thing. I don't know if the, he got... That's the thing, too. I don't know if Neil killed him or not with the black gloves and shit, but maybe he did. I don't remember. I don't know. But he got killed in bright, broad fucking daylight. And then the things... The dream sequences... With the eyes, with the chick, with the red heels. And the guy putting his mouth and shit. Like, it was like some Rhode Island. I don't know what the fuck it was. Like, what the fuck is this? It kept coming and going like, oh my god. It was like, I thought it was like some kind of gangbang and shit. And then this guy pushes her and he ended up, she puts his high heel on his, her, her, his mouth and shit. And then you find out later in the story, oh, he did this killing. And you find out that then Jane is like wants to kill herself, and then because her man, her new lover is dead, and then she has a, a Nick a Annie try to go over there, but then the police the person gets there first, but before that Jane is killed with probably the best kill ever, which I said about with the she gets her arm hacked to death, blood goo sprays every fucking where in the damn uh, hall or the, the 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 walls, and here I first thought it was uh, Annie. Played by Daria. Because she always gets killed a lot, I think, in these films. No, it wasn't her. It was the inspector. And then you find out it's him, Neil. And you're like, wow. Because so, this pants, from the from when they put all the way up from his pants up to his head. And I'm like, it's him. Shit. And then the cop comes, Gianni, or, uh, yeah, uh, or go, Detective Giramani comes. And then... And he comes. And you think, then he offs himself, Neil up front, because he doesn't want to go to jail or prison or whatever. He offs himself. It looked graphic as fuck. Comes, they go in the car, and somehow they talk about, oh, yeah, this is what happened, and all this other shit. And so he goes back in there. I'm like, what are you doing? Goes back in there. The motherfucker Neil's not there. Then it sees there's a fake knife there. That was all staged. There's a little button that has blood that splurts out. And I'm like, what the hell? Then he comes and acts the shit out of him. He comes back like he's alive and shit. And then the house, the, 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 there's something blocking. And then he, uh, Annie's about to go in there. And she's about to be axed. And then she's trying to get the fuck out, get in and get in there because she hears the commotion. Get, and this metal sculpture's blocking away. And she finally gets in there. And then he gets his act. And then she pushes right through. And this sculpture goes, goes, impels him right in the stomach. His whole body. And she screams bloody murder while he dies. And I put my middle fingers up. Fuck you. That's what you deserve. So the fucking TV reviewer had an obsession killing. And it it had an obsession with his books. And he wanted to do the killing. Or whatever. And then you find out that he... Then you find out about the whole Rhode Island... These little dream segments or whatever the fuck. He got humiliated by that chick. And then you search her stabbing her and shit. So that was him when he was younger. So he got woken up from the... He got woken up from this PTSD fucking whore sex dream. And went insane. And then there you go. DN. And he survives. And it was fantastic. I love this movie. I think you all should see this film. Definitely check it out. But I'm STS. If you like watching my reviews or just or just watching my hear my thoughts about film, I'm not a really good reviewer, but I do movies I want to talk about it. But this film right here, I mean, is amazing. But if you like these films like I do, I have many more films. Check it out. I got two mo- I got on my YouTube.com slash Sam the Slam. I have two movie review uh, playlists. My first playlist is Simple Reviews, which I called it. Which, uh, yeah, what a tagline name that is. T- uh, my, I, have, I have like 100 plus reviews, 150 plus, I don't know, 150 plus reviews or something like that. And then I start doing Slammy Reviews, which I'm staying to Slammy Reviews. But definitely check them out. Please subscribe, comment. Or whatever. I don't care. But yeah. Thank you for watching. Enjoy dinner bread. Peace.